Hi everyone, I'm Tammy from nutmegnotebook.com. Today I want to show you how to make stuffed mushrooms in the air fryer. I have the Breville Smart Oven Air, and today I'm going to stuff portobello uh, mushrooms with garlic mashed potatoes. So I picked these up at Trader Joe's, and the first thing that you're going to want to do is to take a spoon and remove the gills. I just go around the edge, get these out just so we have a place to put our mashed potatoes. And you just want to be a little gentle with it because we want the sides of the mushroom to retain their integrity so that they'll hold in the mashed potatoes and not collapse on us. So just go around the edge, get those out. I just put these in the trash. I don't know if you could actually do anything with them. And I just kind of break up that stem a little bit. Okay, and we'll just do the other one. There, that one popped out pretty easily. Sometimes the sides are thin and you have to be really gentle so that you don't tear it apart. This one seems to be a little thin. It's giving me a little harder time than the other one. Almost there. So I already made my garlic mashed potatoes and I actually um, made a video on how to make those in the Instant Pot, which is a pressure cooker and it's super easy to do them that way. Oh, see, I did tear that one a little bit. Did exactly what I said I was trying to be careful not to do. Okay, so now I have that done. So these are the garlic mashed potatoes that I made, and these are vegan. They have absolutely no dairy in them. They're really delicious. We had to have some to snack on a little while ago. But they're so tasty. Okay, so we just want to pile it on. The mushroom is going to shrink a little bit in the air fryer. I suppose you could cook the mushroom ahead of time, but that's an extra step and I don't want to have to do that. So we're just going to fill it up pretty good. And after they cook for a while, I'm actually going to top them with um, a cheese sauce, a vegan cheese sauce. This is Donna's vegan cheese sauce. The recipe is on my blog and uh, my friend Donna came up with this recipe and it's absolutely delicious. So great substitute for cheese. So now I'm going to preheat my uh, Breville Smart Oven Air. So we'll just come over here. It's on air fry, 40 minutes. I'm gonna push start and it will um, start to preheat. And then I'll put these in there and we're going to let them cook for about 18 minutes and then I'm gonna pull them out and put the cheese sauce on. So, we'll just get ready for that. Okay, the Breville Smart Oven Air has reached temperature. I had it set for 400 degrees, so we're ready to put the stuffed mushrooms in. I have the rack, the air frying rack in there. On the air frying um, setting, you'll see here, it tells you where to put it in there. Over here I have air fry selected and you just you have to go ahead and pick some time when it's preheating. And then I'll reset that for 18 minutes. So I'm just going to put these in here like that, close it, adjust my time down to 18 minutes. There it goes. So I'm going to leave those in there. When the 18 minutes is up, the timer is going to go off and it actually shuts off at that point. 
I'm going to pull those out, top them with the Donna's cheese sauce, and then put them back in until the cheese sauce is nice, hot, and bubbly. Okay, see you in a few. Okay, we're just counting down the last few seconds. Remember we put the mushrooms in for the stuffed mushrooms for 18 minutes. And now I'm going to, there goes the timer. And the light and the breville goes on about 10 seconds before the time is up. So that's a good indicator. And then of course it beeps. Okay, so I've got my glove on because it's super hot. I will link, uh, provide a link to this glove in the um, section below the YouTube video. Okay, so now I'm going to top these with Donna's cheese sauce. And this recipe, again, it's on my blog, nutmegnotebook.com. I'm just gonna pile some on top here. I don't do it in the beginning because I don't want this to get hard and like crusty. That's why I wait and do it at the end. And then I'll just put it back in for a couple of minutes just until the cheese looks like it's getting all warm and bubbly. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna set this for like three, four minutes and then I'll check it because I'm just gonna go by how it looks. And when it looks like it's done, I'll pull it out. See you in a few. Okay, so I ended up leaving them in there for another five minutes. So I think the cheese is nice and hot now. Hear that? That's telling me it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. Remember, this is really hot. You'll notice I have this extra liner on my um, frying basket. My friend Shada told me about these crispy cooking liners and they just make cleanup uh, a little bit easier. The first four or five months of owning the, the um, air fryer, the racks are pretty easy to clean up, but the more I use them, the harder they're getting to clean. So these just make cleanup easier and I'll provide a link to them for you guys because it just makes cleaning these a lot easier. Okay, don't these look amazing? Love this. Okay. I'll just come over here and show you. So now these are ready to serve. If I had fresh chives, I would put some fresh chives on top of these. I just have the, the dry today, but oh, are they even gonna stick? They might not even stick very good, but it does add a little color and just makes them look prettier. And these are delicious, and even if you have some left over, a lot of times I'll make four or six of them, even though there's just the two of us here, and then I'll just heat them up again in the um, air fryer the next day and put a salad with them and it's delicious. So I hope you guys all enjoy these Portabella stuffed mushrooms with the garlic mashed potatoes. See you next time.